All right, I am so excited because I just got all of my FPV stuff. I've got my monitor, I got all these cables, and I am just so confused on what I should actually do. One, I hate reading the directions, and two, the directions don't make any sense to begin with. So, quick little rundown here. Uh, we are going to take the monitor and give you a finished product like this is what we're gonna do. So let's just uh, dive right in. First of all, with the monitor setting up on your radio, you have this little bag of goodies here with all little bolts and little uh, what are carbon fiber pieces. Uh, first, uh, again, no instructions. So we're going to provide those instructions for you. You're gonna need one of your arms on the end here, two of your little machine screws. So you're gonna take two of those screws there and one of these little machine screws that goes around your handle there. So nice and simple, put it on there screw it right in, you wham bam, those two side pieces are going to be on. So those are out of our way. At this point, you'll take your little L brackets here. Your L brackets will mount right on there. That'll attach to the two carbon fiber ones we have on there. So that's going to be our top mounting plate. Now from there, you're just gonna take your one little screw knob and attach your monitor right to it. And you can pull your monitor on and off anytime you want. So. That is the assembly of that one, so I hope that makes sense. We'll jump into how you actually hook all of this up now. First of all is the uh, Velcro. With the Velcro, you've got a soft side and a non-soft side. Anytime, uh, our habit around here is to take the non-soft side and attach it to the hard surface. Anything you're actually attaching to it, we use the soft side. So like the batteries being attached, the transmitter being reattached, all that's gonna have the soft side of the Velcro. So, with that being said, I've already taken the liberty of putting Velcro on my arm up here for the transmitter. So, that's already on there, so we'll get rid of that. And I've already put in the soft side of the Velcro on the back side of my transmitter. Now, this antenna that comes on the transmitter is garbage. We're just going to get rid of that right away. We're not going to use that, but we are going to use the cloverleaf antennas, the uh, transmitter. You have a transmitter and you have a receiver antenna. So. RX and TX, so T stands for transmitter. So go ahead and just throw that on there, nice hand tight. You have a uh, battery, I'm sorry, I've got a, a battery cable here, or a power cable that I've already taken the liberty of putting into the transmitter. And I also have the FPV cable. This FPV cable is for the Hero 3. If you need a Hero 2 cable, um, I don't know what to tell you, because we no longer supply Hero 2, so go out, grab yourself a Hero 3. So we're gonna go ahead and put that FPV cable right in here, <laughs> sorry. We're gonna put that Hero 3 cable right in here. And we're gonna feed these two wires. I'm gonna feed them right into through this arm right here between my ESC. I'm gonna put my transmitter right on the arm. The Velcro is fine, you don't need to uh, attach it with anything else. It's going to stay just fine while you're in flight. Now with those two cables I just put in, I'm going to grab them from the bottom, pull them straight on down, and then I'm going to take my FPV cable and feed it over to my camera and hook it up on my camera. So I'm, I'm, us I'm using the uh, gimbal on mine. So I'm just going to turn the GoPro, plug that puppy in, put it back straight on the gimbal, and she is good to go. All right, as far as my other cables and what I'm gonna be doing with them, I need to also hook up my power. So the nice thing on the XP2 is I do have the external power that's gonna run off the main battery here. With that, I'm going to attach a Y bridle here, so that way I can run my gimbal and my uh, run my gimbal and my power for the transmitter. If you're not running the gimbal, you can just simply plug your power directly into your transmitter, and it's going to power it up for you when you plug your main power in. So, but I am running two power sources, so I'm going to go ahead and plug this in, And I'll turn it over for you here so you can see what I'm actually doing. Uh, so I will plug in my gimbal for power. And I'll also plug in my transmitter for power. 
And then of course the power is not going to work until I plug my main power source in from my main battery here. So that takes care of the transmitter and the FPV cable and your power on your quadcopter. Next up to hook everything up to your monitor here. So we, we already went through the installation process of how to put your brackets on to hold on to your radio. Uh, we have some additional Velcro for you. So first piece of Velcro here is for your battery. Uh, at times I do use, the, use my trainer port, so I move my Velcro over just to the side of it for my battery. So if you never plan on using your trainer port, put it in the center wherever you want to, completely up to you. So you can then take your, your battery and just attach it right on there. So there's your power source to run your monitor as well as your receiver. Now on the receiver part here, again, I've already taken the liberty of sticking some Velcro on there as well as on the back of the receiver. So we've got that dialed in to where I can wham bam, attach your receiver directly to it. Now, if you bought the monitor separate, uh, meaning not as a package, so we have all the components, the FPV components, and as well as the receiver, I'm sorry, as well as the monitor. If you bought everything separate, you're not going to have the same connectors as we currently have here. We've already taken the liberty when you buy it as a package from us, we're gonna do all the soldering for you. Uh, if not, then you're gonna get the standard, whatever comes on the monitor, whatever comes with the other components, and we'll have instructions for you on how to do it, but there's gonna be a few extra steps for you. Um, so, buy the whole package. That's my suggestion for you. We've already taken the hard work out of it for you. So, we're gonna take the, the uh, video, plug it into the AV out, we're going to take the uh, Cloverleaf antenna, the receiver one. We're going to go ahead and put it in here for you. Again, nice hand tight. Now, let's see what else we got here. We also have, how about the power? So we have the DC 12 volt. Again, we've already done the modifications for you. Again, only if you bought it as an entire package from us. So plug that into your DC port. We now have two battery connectors back here. So within your package, you do supply the banana connector to the uh, JSTs. So you can plug your power into your battery. Actually, we'll plug it in the other way, direct, the other way first. So we'll plug your JSTs in. And Wham, bam, we are completely done there other than plugging your power, power in, and we can power everything up. So let me show you how this actually works now. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and power everything on now. So we'll turn our monitor on. We'll turn our radio on, of course, making sure that all of our switches are in the up position, except for our throttle. So always make sure that you do turn your radio on before you turn your quadcopter on. At this point, we'll go ahead and turn our, uh, GoPro actually needs to be on before you power on your transmitter. So we'll turn our GoPro on. We'll now go ahead and power up our quadcopter, which will power our gimbal as well as our transmitter. So we've turned our power on. Our little fan on the transmitter has now powered on. So you can see it's actually spinning here. So that's working as it should. And the transmitter comes pre-programmed on channel eight. We've actually changed it to channel one. So if you buy everything as a package from us, uh, we're gonna change it to channel one. And the reason being is on the back of your transmitter here, when you power everything on, one is the default. So we'd rather have you not call us and say, oh, how come it's not working? Well, probably because the default is eight and one, and now it's one and one. So we've taken the liberty of doing that for you. So the closer your antennas are together, you get a little bit of flicker. Flicker is normal uh, with these because it's wireless. And it's weird thing is actually the farther you get away from it, uh, the farther you get away, the less flicker you get. So when you're out flying. So don't be nervous that you have flicker when you're right here next to one another, kind of like two walkie talkies uh, next one, one another. So we've done our part. Everything is working. We are happy. We are going to head on out and we're going to go fly. All right. Hope it helped out. And if you have any questions, feel free to get hold of support and we'll take care of you. Thanks.